Hey folks, welcome back. We are now on round number 72. I want to play this turn relatively quickly because uh, I feel that the... I mean, it's probably a little bit late to start saying stuff like this, but I feel like the game is really dragging on a little bit. And like, don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying it and I hope you're enjoying it. And I assume that if you've made it this far into the game that you're probably going to be enjoying it. But um, I do want to try to keep drop the turn times down a little bit until at least we get to the warfare phase, which is incoming, I think. So uh, we're entering a time of confidence. We've uh, c created a model for bikers, bikers 2. Discovered walker hydraulics, that's good. That means we can get walkers up on, on the go. I might delay war just a few turns until I've got those up. Um, we've discovered an energy lance, a cortical simulator, and we've got some cards. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at the decision quickly. Um, Foreign Affairs Council, task priorities. Yeah, we, just, we don't have any minors, minors so I'm just going to drop that down. Yes, Eat that as it is. Uh, Air Force Council, task priorities. Now... I'm putting most stuff into research at the moment. Let's just see what we've got to um, what we've got to find. Now we need turbojet engine in order to get VTOLs. Um, VTOLs are decent. Um, I'd also like to get throp to wings. Um, so where is throp to wings? But um, bum 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 bum. It's further down here somewhere. Can never find this stuff. There it is. Okay, so it's in machinery. We've okay. So we've actually discovered it, but we've not started researching it yet. I'd like to get Thropters. They are very, very good. Um, turbojet engines also very, very good. Now I, I do wonder if Thropter wings might be a little bit easier. The thing is, um, Thropter wings. Th th this is a type of chassis, and you still want turbojet engines with it, really. So we probably want to go into turbojet engines first. Uh, there is loads of stuff that we can we can go for, by the way, here. Jet engine efficiency will be very useful. Um, this will increase turbo turbojet engines, I believe, as well. I think so. Um, then we've got aircraft design. We've not actually put anything into that yet. Uh, helicopter design might be useful if we're going to be using helicopters. Yeah, I, I think we've kind of got to the point of the game. Right, by the way, Kale has started to upgrade his troops now. Um... Simon actually, uh, sorry, Hyde actually reminded me that the uh, that he like, look he's actually starting to upgrade his stuff to lasers now. I don't see him having a, a whole lot of energy assets, and I'll tell you right, you need loads and loads of energy in order to use energy weapons for any length of time. Um, lasers are they look really really good on paper, but unless you've got the energy to support, unless you've got the energy to support it, and bear in mind, look, he's got all these. Okay, he's got solar panels for, which is what? This is giving you a thousand. That's quite a lot, actually. But, you know, he's got all these other things coming up, like Industry 4, Demetalization 5. Class. Wow. He's really pushing ahead with this um, with this one place. If I can nuke this one place, or if I can get to the uh, Phoenix Command, he's in big trouble, because I don't know how decentralized he is. I don't think he is. Yeah, he's he's really gone He's really gone all out, all out on Phoenix Command, I think. So, uh, we, we are getting closer and closer to that point of the game, and I, I, what I need to do is I need to dedicate, I need to dedicate some time to being able to do this. I think. So what I might do is I might actually, I might actually delay this turn, posting it. Uh, I might just do this now, like, and um, just get this kind of episode out of the way, and then I might do kind of an interim episode where I actually start to think about my st strategy and tactics. And I think that's you'll find that interesting. Um, even if it's just kind of like, what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> but I, I, I hope, you know, I hope that I'll be able to shed some light on my thought process there. Let's have a look at this uh, model that we designed. But yeah, that's the, that's the plan anyway. We need, I need to start thinking about, you know, my the way that I'm going to approach this war. Okay, charge Gauss rifle and uh, Paladin virus suit. Soft attacks, not bad. Let's see what those are like compared to our in, uh, infantry. Okay, right. So these are, these aren't bad. Look. Now you'll see this is the uh, this is the attack value when you're in defense versus when you're in attack. So 100, you know, 110 is the attack value uh, when you're on the attack. In defense, their attack value is 219. Infantry are better in defense. However, motorcycles don't have that penalty. They have the same value in hard attack. People miss this, I think, when they when they're looking at bikes. Uh, they miss that they don't have the same pe the attack penalty that infantry do because they're mobile. So they are very, very useful. Having a good biker unit is really good. Now, these guys... 
marginally better. Yeah, they, they're getting better. They're not. They weren't a very good unit in the first place, to be honest. A Cooper Plus a better design. No, I, I, I really looked out. Um, I really got bad luck on this roll. I need another buggy. I do, I do quite like buggies, but we might be getting past that point of the game where they're going to be useful. Okay. Um, I believe I'm still waiting for heavy combat armor. Yeah, it's going to be next turn, so I'm not going to build. I'm not going to get anything up that's going to take a long time. I really want to get heavy, you know, a model out with the lasers and heavy combat armor. I think that's going to be pretty important. I think I've got laser rifles now. Yeah, I have. So, um, yeah. And I want to get walk, walk hydraulics as well. Also, and if we're going to get walkers, we also need it um, to get... Where are we? Uh, I, we've already got the... Yeah, I've already got the high-tech machinery stuff. Uh, sorry, the heavy industry, haven't I? That's actually gone up yet. Are no, we still going for demetallization too? Um, I'm pretty sure heavy heavy industry... Yeah, we've got heavy industry one here. We probably want to upgrade this too. So um, let's get that one upgraded straight away. Six rounds, look. Six rounds of 800 per turn. Heavy industry two. And it's going to give us 40 machines per turn. Um, we're going to need this. That's going to be, it's going to be really important for us to get that in. This is going to, this is going to hurt to get out, by the way. Uh, we, all, we also, at the same time, we need to increase our metal output. Uh, because metal, we are, you know, we're not doing so good with it. I know it looks like we are, but we're not. This like I'm getting 2,000 per turn or whatever. Um, but this is not enough. Not enough for a big war. And hide, uh, and, uh, Tribe of Man has told me that they're not going to attack if I attack Kale, but I don't believe him, actually. I don't think he's good. I don't think he's telling the truth. And because I kind of like, <laughs> he's a mate of mine, and we, you know, we got him really well. But I kind of, I attacked him really early on in a Dominion's game that we had really like recently, and he was really. I think he's still really salty about it. <laughs> so I've got a feeling that I can't really, I can't really trust him. And I don't. I mean, no disrespect to you, Simon, if you're watching this. You're a great guy, but I, I know that um, there's a there's a fair chance that I, I shouldn't be trusting anything that you. <laughs> anything he say in this game because i think uh, you know i can imagine you're still a bit upset about that about that early war right um zone city upgrade unicron yeah let's let's upgrade that um reach now yeah i'm just gonna spend the political points getting those upgraded and then we can go for the further the high bureaucracy levels spies in phoenix legion i found a i found info right let's have a look to see who we want to go through it's always good to remind ourselves by the way of who we are dealing with Democracy in mind. I was going. I was pushing him into autocracy and enforcement, wasn't I? Um, <laughs> Nitro Vader. <laughs> what an awesome name. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, look. It looks like everybody's interfering in this guy's elections here. Um, at the moment, he's pushing meritocracy. He's gone meritocracy seventy four percent. I was pushing autocracy. It looks like democracy in mind are now. Um, you know, he's he's probably pushing those up himself, I imagine. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, I mean... Once we go to war, he's going to find it easier to... I mean, autocracy is going to be useful for him anyway. Government and meritocracy. It's probably where he wants to be, right? He's gone into enforcement. Probably try to, uh, you know... Yeah, look, get him discipline, tax bonus... Strong arming, efficiency goals. Yeah, he's, he's really uh, Kale's really good at like minimaxing this stuff to get really high up in certain ways. I'm, I'm I struggle to do that in this game. I mean, it's easy to get into democracy this high. Uh, commerce, I've just I've just gone up that kind of naturally. I really want to go into enforcement now, to be honest. I still think, yeah, I don't think I've even got that first level in. Oh no, I have. I have got discipline. Okay, so I I want to keep going up this way if I can. Um, I probably want to start getting his fist as well soon. I think the time for mind is over. I think we need heart for a little while to to reduce the amount of payment we're paying on people, and then we want to go into fist because if we can get a spirit of core before the war starts out, that would be really really good. Um, we will get a big bonus to fist when we invade as well, uh, but it's going to be it's going to be difficult to do. Okay, let's just go for the uh, reform. I think it was reformist legion, was it? Yeah, we'll go for the reformist legion. Um, Karen Fort packs. Right, I don't care about those, and I don't care about those either. So let's just keep those as they are. Whatever. Air Force Council task priorities. 
I think we like I think we've pretty much figured this out now, haven't we? There's not a whole lot we, more we can go into. I don't think we can get this one. I, I think I'm I'm actually going to just put everything into research for the time being. Yeah. Pretty much anything not going into research will filter through. So, um, heavy aircraft, uh, heavy aircraft. I'm going to struggle to get out at this point of the game. I think. Have I got polymer army? Yet? I forget now. Let's just have a look. Yes, I have. Right, so we can start upgrading tanks. Um, this is this is kind of. I don't have a lot. I'm not going to be using tanks a whole lot against Kale until I break through his front line, and that if if I manage to do that, and this, that's going to be hard, right? It's going to be difficult to get through here. And look, he's got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like nearly seven lines of seven lines of of really really tough terrain forests heavy forests mountains you can get all this this is going to be so hard to assault and he's and it's going to be really hard for him to assault me as well uh, now he's got better terrain here um I, i'm mostly now I've, i have got this bo this defensive border um so tanks might be useful actually in repelling any attacks if he manages to get through particularly with walkers um, I'm going to have to hide in these mountains. He's going to he's going to find it really really hard to keep any supply lines going because I'll be able to you know sneak in this way. Um, you know and he's he's going to have to take he's going to have to clear all the mountains. I've also got a similar defensive advantage here, although not quite as deep as him. This is going to be hard to get through, but um, I'm going to have to hit. I'm going to have to attack him on both sides. I think at once. Yeah. So um, I think air, air power is going to be essential for me here. I'm going to have to get a decent air model. I'm also going to have to be using artillery. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have to grind him out um, through this through this area because tanks they don't work so well. Minus 50% attack modifier you'll see on um, tanks in in just forest alone. They're better at defending, so he'll be able to use tanks against me, particularly things like assault guns. So, and, you know, tank destroyers, that kind of thing. So pushing through here with tanks isn't going to be the best idea. Um, now, if I do end up on a war, like Hyde's basically saying, oh, don't worry, I'm not going to attack here, but, you know, he's looks like he's building it up. This is more than just holding a border, I think. Well, maybe at the moment. He's got a lot here, but then there's a lot to defend, I guess. He's, he, he's obviously getting quite a lot in here. Yeah, um, we're not really ready for war yet. I, that, nonetheless, I think just to keep this game going, you know, to keep the Let's Play interesting, I think I'm going to have to push for it pretty quick. I'm less bothered about winning as I am about making this interesting to watch now at this point. Okay, let's get up a let's get up a tank model. Regardless, if I might go for APCs first. Which one was the one that I, I wish obsoleting would then would delete them out of that? Actually, that would be preferable. Armor transport. Can't remember, are these in? Yeah, okay, so that one was obsoleted. Yeah, this wasn't a bad design. The Bolter Bus. Just change the name of that. I can call it the Rust Wagon. <laughs> okay. Right, so at least I know this one is the one that I want. Right, so let's go into APC. I'm going to go to Rust Wagon. Let's put Triple Assault Laser. Like, look, here's the thing. This Are we spending two energy per combat round? I think it's per combat round. Or are we spending 1.6 ammo, ammo? This is what you got to think of. And yeah, you do get much better. You get, it's 250 attack power more, basically. That's your firepower is 250 more. You've also got to throw rare metals into this. So you've got to consider like what your rare metal output is like. It's not going to be great. It's, it's a funny one. Um, I think in the case of APCs, I'm not going to have a whole lot of them, so I think I'm going to put the best stuff I can get on them. Um, Seventy-five weight. It's going to be the heavy diesel engine. So this, these are going to be really, really like heavy going things, but I'm going to need I'm going to need heavy going stuff. Um, okay, we've now got Madison Darling. She. Uh, I was looking at her for a long time before I started recording this, thinking she's got 96 in Covert Ops. Now, I, I'm pretty sure I've got a really good leader in Covert Ops anyway, um, in the Secret Service Council. Yeah, he's better, look. He's actually really good in High Command as well. This this guy, I might be tempted, if she wasn't so old, I might be tempted to make him an SHQ guy. Um, just have a look who we've got in the uh, Supreme Com Command Council. 
Yeah, he's pretty good. Um, now, where's our SHQ commander as well? So, yeah, this guy's also got 100 in, uh, in high command, so he's he's staying where he is. So anyway, you get you get the idea. I, I was thinking about making a second SHQ. I don't think I need to in this game yet. Uh, my, my empire is pretty big, and really, you want one SHQ for, per major front that you've got, and this is going to be... Assuming that um, Tribe of Mandu tried to attack me, I, I don't see how they're really going to get anything out of this war. If if I attack, if I attack um, Phoenix Legion, Tribes of Man, look, he's got nothing down here. He's not even. I think him and Kale have got some kind of agreement because he's not even guarding his borders. Look, so I think that it's me that's going to get attacked here, and I'd be, you know, it'd be madness of me to go to war with both of them. However, um, I don't see any. They're not trying to drop my relations down. I'm kind of between a bit of a rock and a hard place here, and the and the anvil that I've got is the fact that I need the I need this series to be interesting for people to watch, and I want to see some warfare. Um, the hammer that I've got is the fact that if I attack too soon, these guys are going to tag team me. I'm pretty sure of it. Like I would. I don't. I I think this combat front is too weak for for Tribes of Man to really get anything. They're not going to take anything. They're going to have to come through this way. And Kale's not got a lot here. And he, he, Simon, uh, sorry, Tribes of Man, his name's Simon, I'm sure he won't mind me telling people that. Si Simon knows, right, that if if I if I take, Fe uh, if I beat Phoenix Legion, and it's not going to be an easy war. This is like, you know, this is a 50 turn war, right? And I know you might be like, what, 50 turns? Are you serious? I'm serious. Look at this. Look at this. All this stuff that he can hide into. Even if I push him back, if he if he pushes me back, I've got all this I can hide into, and he's got to get you know he's got to break all the way through to high peak. And I've not been I've not been dumb like he has. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Kale. You're not been dumb, but I, I've not I've been smarter in the sense of I've I've decentralized my industry a lot more. Um, obviously, if I lose high peak, I'm probably going to be out. The game is going to be tough for me to win. But that said. I can, you know, I can't, I've at least, I'm at least still in the game. Whereas, I, I think if if Kale loses Phoenix Command, he's out of the game. Um, so anyway, Hyde is not gonna, um, he's not going to stand by and watch me take this. I think likely what might happen, the best I can hope for is that he watches us fight, figures out who's going to win, and then attacks the other person. Uh, I, that's probably the way that I would go in his situation. I don't think I can manage a war with two of them. I mean, I have got, look, I, look, what do you think, I'm going to ask you as a viewer, look at the territory here, yeah, between myself and Tribes of Man, and look at the territory he's got here, and now look at mine, and you tell me who you think is going to win a war between the two of us, I don't fancy his chances, i got to tell you, he's got like, his industrial output's really, really good, it's as strong as mine, if not, it might be if you can start to overtake me, but he's not got an advantage when it comes to ter terrain, if all I need to do is just hold this line, get tanks through, and I can just swarm him with tanks, and then, even if he beats me back, he's then got to fight me tooth and nail through all of this, through all this rough terrain, we've got cloud forests, jungles, heavy forests, forests, that's nah, not happening, so I'm not worried about him, really, and there is a, there now. I'm, now I'm thinking about it. I probably even if he attacked me, I probably could hold him off and even make maybe make some gains. Especially if I had a tank, you know, if I had a couple of tank core, big big tank formations that I you know maybe just one one tank core and I could push through and like threaten the rock here, and just be like, look, back off, man, <laughs> or you know, get just get an encirclement on a large amount of his troops. Yeah, I'm not, now I look at it, I'd, um, if I can get enough, all I need to do is get enough brigades out just so I can hold my line with him. I don't think he can beat me here. I think he's he's going to have to pull out some incredibly, he's going to have to have lots of walkers. And I can just fill my, you know, I can just build AT guns and then, you know, what's he going to do? So, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. It's interesting to figure out how I'm going to approach this whole situation. Um, Kale definitely has a terrain advantage. In the same way that... Uh, you know that Hyde is going to struggle to attack into me because of my terrain. I think Kale. I'm going to struggle to attack into Kale's land. I mean, you might start thinking, why don't you attack this guy first? That might be something that you know a wise man might be asking. 
Why am I committed to attacking Kale? Well, the answer is I'm not. But um, he's got a better... Kale has got a better time of it getting into my territory, I'd say. He is probably a bit closer to High Peak, I'd say. Let's just let's count this out, right? Let's get the hexes on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The, he's 14 hexes. My His border is... Well, our border is from the, the, this demilitarized, demilitarized zone is 14 hexes from High Peak, right? Phoenix Command is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right, we're, we're almost... Almost... Uh, in the same position. Yes. 15. It's going to be 15 no matter how you count it. So. Um, if I can break. I've got basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hexes. Of bad terrain. And it's only forest. This is not the worst terrain. It's not good for tanks though. And he's got these. He's got heavy forests here. Look, which are even more difficult for tanks to get into. And he's got this. Uh, I mean, all he has to do is stick a couple of infantry units um, and walkers here. And like, that's going to make it so difficult for me to keep a supply line open. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to use a lot of troops. I'm going to have to have troops guarding all of the all. You know, all of these mountain passes to keep him in the mountains, so, because otherwise he's going to break any supply lines that I've got. Uh, air bridges are a thing, but if he's if he's smart, which he is, he's going to be using aircraft as well. So, there's a lot to think about here, guys. Do, you know, I mean, let, let's let's say that I'm resetting my plans completely. And I'm just looking at this, you know, let's look at the strategic map. Because the strategic map's what this, this is for, right? So, we've got... We've got Chaos territory here. Let's go to zones. We'll just look at the zones instead. So, um, we've got one, two zones bordering Tribes of Man. Now this this is still a huge huge combat width, and um the rock here is an easy target, I'd say it's an easiest target because if I can get tanks through here, then yeah there we go. Um, that's that's one way of going about it. The other thing that we can do is to try to swarm through this way here and get into Ground Town. Okay, now this um, provided my logistics up to this way are good. This he can't counterattack me through here very easily. However, I am going to have to have significant amounts of troops. So, you know, that's one thing, okay? In uh, If I'm going into Kale, so right, basically, so what I'm saying is my initial targets would probably be, you know, I might aim to take three zones here. Um, I think with Kale's stuff, and let's, in fact, let's go and actually look at, I think Dust Bowl is, is, is um, their big, big town, isn't it? Let's have a look. Dust Bowl here. I think this is the... I think it was their first one. Yeah, this is where his first SHQ is. Um, It's not the biggest city, look. Mind you, is it as big as High Peak? What's he got? 121,000. Uh, let's compare that to High Peak. Sorry, High Peak's way over here. Okay, so it's about the same. Yeah, he's he's probably also doing the same thing as me, which is he's depopulating his cities so that he can actually bring, build up some other cities. Uh, look, he's built, built one here in this. This is a really... Look, this guy's clever. This is a really, really good place for a city. Like, how do you... I mean, that's really hard to assault. Um, so, uh, that, that is really, really smart of him to do that. That's exactly what I would be doing. I'm half. I am half tempted to get a zone up here so, as well, because we, if we're gonna, if we are gonna attack him, if that was the plan, then you know we we do need to get logistics at least up here, which means you know we need to get some, we need to get a zone up here at least for, so we we're avoiding um, administrative strain. So that we you know, and I would probably put one here, some, like here, like he did, just get something in here, so it's just really hard to you know to take out, uh, you know, or here. And like anywhere like this, so like you've just got a basically a, a wall of a wall of mountains. Uh, okay, so now we look at like looking at kale. I think the 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 best plan that I've come up with here uh, for attacking kale is to make a push for Phoenix Command and kill him quick. I mean, because a war of attrition with this guy is going to be absolutely horrendous. And like I say, it's a fifty. This is a fifty-turn war. Even if things go my way, I would say because I think that he's going to be pushing out so much industry that he's going to be constantly re reinforcing replacements. Um, 
I don't know. If let's say, let, okay, he won't do by the way because this guy's smart. But let's say he, let's say he plays really badly and he does everything wrong. Um, I still think this is twenty turns to get to Phoenix Command. It might be fifteen. You know, if he plays everything really, really, I think realistically though, and you know, Kale's a good war gamer. He's a, he's a good forex um, player, definitely. So I think he's going to push. I think he's. This is going to be like you know. Yeah, 50 turns. I think it's a fair assessment. Maybe 50 turns. This is going to be brutal grinding war, unless I can figure out some way of getting it. Now, Shadow Empire does have this time limit, and the time limit is nuclear weapons, right? It's nuclear weapons. Let's just get Madison Darling in here. Um, you've got to get to the end of the game before ICBMs come out. Now, there is he has put this new thing in called bunkerization, which really does help against nukes. So you can kind of make, you know, for example, I can just build up bunkers in High Peak just to make it so that ICBMs don't do so much damage, but they're still going to be kind of, you know, crippling. Um, and I, I've never reached that part of the game. I've got to be honest, I've never done it in a single player. Never mind. I've never had ICBMs in, um, in single player, never mind in multiplayer. So I just, I don't know how that's going to go. I really don't. Okay, uh, we're going to have to postpone the candidate, uh, postpone that one now. Anyway, folks, because I didn't want this to be the, you know, too long an episode. Uh, are these guys going the right way? Yeah, they can go this way. This is the 19th, right? What do we got here? Hang on a minute. Oh, yeah, okay, I've done something dumb here, so... Oh no, no, these are the right. This is right. So, um, my bad. Sorry, folks. I was just having a, a minor meltdown because I was looking at the color of the, the color of the background, and it was kind of confusing me. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm I'm just gonna move. I'm gonna move my forces on my own. I, you don't need to see me doing this. I don't think. I don't think it's gonna be particularly exciting. Um, so I'll just show you the positioning of my forces next turn. I think, and then you'll be able to kind of see where it is that I, you know, what it was that I was doing. Um, just to spare you that. <laughs> Just watching me move a whole bunch of units, basically. Oh, this is 17th here. I need them to have a different colour, I think. Make them brown or something. Is that going to be easy? Yeah, okay. That's, it looks horrible, but yeah, that'll do. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably move these. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to hold these mountains here. I think with the 17th. Yeah, something like that. And uh, yeah, you get the picture. All right, um, there will also be some industrial build-up. I'm not doing anything particularly exciting. I'm, I am just going to be gradually going through, making sure that I'm keeping up with my bureaucratic push and with the industrial output. And I'm going to try and focus mostly on metals. All right, folks, I'm going to end the recording there. Thanks for watching. I hope you're still finding this fun. I am. This is We're getting to the point now where we are going to be at war, I think, fairly soon. Um, I've just got to... I, I'm Now I'm thinking about it more, and I knew this would happen. I've got, I'm now starting to think, you know, I'm going to put it out to you and you, you're going to get this video way too late, right? But just here's an interesting, you know, strategic puzzle for you. Do you, do you hold this easily defensible terrain and make an attack into your closest neighbor in an attempt to take, you know, a hammer blow and it, this is not going to be a hammer blow this is going to be a grinding disgusting dirty war world war one trench warfare if i know this game well um unless unless kale's got some tricks up his sleeve which he might well have do you do that or do you attack into this way and take this area and hold this border knowing that this is harder to hold if he attacks right this i think he's he's at more he's certainly at more danger of getting into high peak than than tribes of man is so what do you think i'm, I'm interested to uh i'm gonna send up so, out some cosmic vibes and maybe you know reaching back into the mists of time when you get this video probably six months after i record it maybe you'll be able to sort of send some like teleport me some kind of uh inspiration all right folks i'll catch you next time see you later